Last power rankings, we had the Seahawks at one, uh, Chiefs at two, Steelers at three, Titans at four, Ravens at five, Packers at six, Bills at uh, seven, Saints at eight, Bucks at nine, and Bears at ten. So let's take a look at how those teams did, first of all. We know the Seahawks lost very good game, one of the one of the best games I've seen in a long time, to be honest. Um, they lost to the Cardinals in overtime in Arizona, and we will obviously talk at length about that game. Uh, Bears lost to the to the Rams, looked really bad. Um, bye week, team, only team we on the Ravens run a bye. The rest of them played. Chiefs win in a, in a blowout against the Broncos. Bucks blow out the Raiders. Uh, Packers blow out the Texans. Uh, Bills win by you know a score against the Jets. Steelers dominate, but win a close one because of a missed field goal against the Titans. Um, who else we got? Saints squeak one out against the Panthers. And that's it. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing we're doing, obviously, Seattle drops. Um, I'm going to move KC up. I'm going to move Pittsburgh up. I think I'm going to move Tennessee up, honestly. I think Seattle's going to drop down to four. Uh, Ravens, I'm, I'm okay with them staying put off the bye week. Green Bay, I'm okay with that. Uh, down here, Buffalo, this is the second time they play the Jets, and both games have not been impressive, this one especially. Uh, the Jets were leading. So I'm going to drop the Bills. I'm going to drop the Bills a little bit here. Uh, Saints and Bucks. I think I'm going to raise the Bucks. Uh, Bucks are going to get the boom here. I'm going to put them above Green Bay uh, since they since they beat Green Bay handedly, and they seem to be really rolling. Uh, we're also going to obviously drop Chicago, and we're going to bring back I think the Rams. I think the Rams are are deserved uh, of that. Down here in the bottom, we got the Dolphins, Browns, Jags, Lions, Vikings, Niners, Falcons, Bengals. Cowboys, Texans, Colts, Chargers, Giants, Eagles, Broncos, Panthers, Raiders, Skins, Cardinals, Jets, uh, Patriots, and Bears. Cardinals are probably an honorable mention. Rams are probably higher up. Put the Rams up here. All right, so this is my this is my list right now. This is where I'm at right now. Hey, there's a big sub. There's a big sub right there, Sun Crafty. Just hit that sub button. Welcome, man. They have subbed for 33 months. That's unfreaking believable, dude. Thank you very much for the sub. Big thanks, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're listening to this on podcast or watching on YouTube, we do the, do this show live on Twitch uh, twice a week. So thank you very much, Crafty, for all the support. 33 months, dude. That is insane. Closing in on three years. Jesus. Good Lord. That's like longer than every Kardashian marriage combined. So right now, I'm looking at this top 10, and I'm looking at KC at 1, Steelers at 2, Titans at 3, Seahawks at 4, Ravens at 5, Bucks at 6, Green Bay at 7, Rams at 8, Saints at 9, Bills at 10. I think I'm feeling good about this. I think I'm feeling pretty good about this, to be honest. So if I'm breaking it down, I think KC, I've said this before, like, until they give me a reason to not have them at 1, I'm going to have them at 1. You know what I mean? Like, if they slip up, sure. But until they give me a prolonged reason to not think they're the best team in the NFL, I'm going to believe they're the best team in the NFL. And they have Le'Veon Bell, who hasn't even got going yet. Pittsburgh Pittsburgh is a machine right now. They are so methodical. They are so... They're, they're just like... They're almost a perfect team. I mean, they are nasty. They are really, really good. Now, they play Baltimore this upcoming weekend. They're a big dog. Uh, they opened up at a six-point dog. So this is going to be season-defining for both of these two teams. Tennessee gets a loss, but not a bad loss. I'll tell you that. Not a bad loss at all. Uh, missed field goal, you know, came back against Pittsburgh, was down early. Um, so I'm not going to penalize them too much. Seattle drops from one to four. Tough game against Arizona. Uh, still a good team, but, you know, there are some there are some holes. That, you know, they're, they're, still, they're still dangerous. Ravens run a bye, so I can't do too much with them. Bucks are, I mean, we'll talk about that during the Bucks game, but I, I may, I may need to issue an apology to Tom Brady. But the Bucks are absolutely rolling right now. I still don't think they are on the same level as some of these other teams, but they are moving. Green Bay by, uh, did did the job, um, but I think I think they're about the same as we thought they were. I don't think much has changed my opinion on them. Rams are looking really good, man. Rams are looking really good despite. Flaws, despite Jared Goff, despite a very simple offense. Sean McVay, what a job he's doing. Uh, but but the defense is really good. And um, I don't think this Rams team is ceiling very high, but they're playing good right now. So what can you do? Uh, the Saints, 
tight game against the Panthers. Uh, you'd like to see him win by more than that, but hey, you got the job done. Um, Bills, Bills are just slipping. I, I, I think the Bills are being found out pretty quick. To be honest, I, I'd, I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised right now if the Bills. If I had to pick one team in this list that wasn't going to finish the season in my top ten, it's the Bills. Uh, I think going to chat here. I think Dallas is at ten for me, dude. Andy Dalton, man. Andy Dalton had the worst knockout of the weekend, and we had a, we had UFC fights this weekend. So that's my top ten: Kansas City, Pittsburgh, Tennessee, Seattle, Baltimore, Tampa Bay, uh, Green Bay, all the Bays, uh, the Rams, Saints, and Bills rounding it out. 